Hello, my name is Adam Wentworth, and uh, this video is going to show you how to use an Xbox Connect version 1 or model 1414 to basically make a 3D scan and then how to clean up that scan in another program called Mesh Mixer. The first thing you're going to do is download Connect for Windows SDK 1.8. Follow that first link and download from here and run the executable once it's finished installing. It's a couple hundred megabytes. The next program is Connect. So click that and um, do try now. If you've got a Mac, um, for the SDK you need to run. Uh, a virtual machine so you'll need to run Windows in your Mac for that to work uh, for Windows and you can pick from these two so just install that okay after that uh, you'll have a few drivers to get installed and then you'll open up Sconnect and plug in the USB and as well as have the power plugged in for your Connect and you should see uh, a green light on in the front and this icon should turn green. Um, you'll need a decent computer for this process, something with um, a good video card and RAM, and on their website they'll tell you what kind of uh, what kind of video cards they recommend. Okay. So after that we've got these options here. Um, in this demo, we're going to scan a, a knee. So, <coughs> say this is about, I'll put the bounding box at half a meter cubed. And you'll see the live preview here. Um, there are some other settings here, depending on how powerful of a computer you've got. Then you can usually the default is fine okay then click start here and you'll see the color based on depth got a dog over here so right, if I'm gonna skin a knee then I want to make sure that it's uh, going to get scanned kind of do a preview to, to see that it will get scanned. If you've got a lot of other programs open, then you could probably close them. Right, so I'm just going to close Chrome. Right. So then there's two timers up here. One is before you start your scan. If you're doing a scan by yourself, then you can click this button and get into position and this is like a time limiter so in case you're at the end of your scan and you can't get back to the computer to click the record button again then you can automatically stop it so we're going to do a scan that's about 18 seconds and you'll see um, the process of the scan You want to try and start with it level and your object in green. You'll see that the closer to the camera it gets is red and the further away is blue. Okay. And then you'll see the frames per second underneath. You want to keep that high. So if, if you have a slower computer that may um, drop very low in which case it'll have trouble tracking <coughs> at this point we'll go to process and we'll check out how much we've got all right so we kind of missed the whole back size so we're going to do that one more time So I'll just move a little bit faster, but you can also put 
put your time limit higher. So kind of start from the back. Usually the area of interest you don't want to start with because you may overlap that portion. And it will start to mesh together the two, um, like the start and the finish, and then you'll see the effect of that in a second.